Hi, this is Andreas from UFX Loops. Welcome to part 3 of our Getting Started tutorial. We want to create our own melodic loops, patterns and instruments. You might remember our last uh, demo consisting of um, percussive slots. And now we want to um, import a melodic sample. And we have a bass here. A nice E bass. Um, let's just import it. And the most important point when editing a sample is um, adapting the start point so it plays with sample zero, otherwise it doesn't synchronize well when playing to a beat. Save that and have that as a single sample with a D1 note and in the note drop down you can also select the D1 that will help us later in the instrument. Sorry, I should have picked uh, basses electric here. Um, so the sample is saved and we can create our first melodic instrument by clicking on melodic and then create the instrument, give it a name and a little description and then press OK. And then assign a sample note and we assign our bass note that we created before and assign a note range and D1 is automatically picked and we want to assign more or less one octave for the note uh, so we can play it um, with different note keys later in the pattern and you see you could also find automatic loop points as you have X loops um, as a loop point finder, but um, I will explain that later in an expert session. So now our sample note is ready to play. Um, it's an instrument with only one sample in it and you could assign um, a lot of samples here of course and assigning different note ranges, but um, in this tutorial we just concentrate on one. Um, and we already can do nice things with only one single note. So now we go into the slot and create a new slot which is looped and press on melodic. This will um, show us the melodic pattern editor where we select instrument, the bass that we created. I put that to four bars as we want to have a four bar pattern. So I just scroll that uh, keyboard on, on left hand and now I'm starting to enter some notes and with these little arrow buttons I come to the next bar it's always switching half bar so you can see um, what you did in the last bar oh that was wrong so that one the last bar and now we are already done and can listen to it and you see how the pattern editor switches the bars and shows you what it's playing. Now I want to explain you um, the solo checkbox um, on the bottom right hand. Um, when you hit that it's a solo instrument a solo instrument can only play one note at a time but with the advantage that it's able to pitch bend the notes and I show that when it's not solo it sounds like um, um, all the notes are playing when I check solo it will pitch bend the notes um, with that you can produce very nice effects for synthesizers and uh, especially lead instruments. So back to our notes because um, our bass should not um, pitch bend anything for now. Um, we save it and have that as a sample in the slot. Oh, I assign a little name here for the slot. 
I forgot that. And next thing we want to do is just import a loop. And um, we press import in the sample editor and um, there's a nice loop which is quite heavy. Um, and you may ask yourself, how does that fit into our demo project? It has the wrong timing, it has the wrong chords, but we will see. Um, I put that now to BPM 80 and enable the click and make it looped. With the select button, you see how many samples would fit into that loop according to current bars and BPM setting. And this seems to be a two bars loop, so I put two bars here. And with that click control, you can hear if you got the right timing for that loop, and that seems to be okay. Now just um, edit the name and assign a category to it and save it. And we can use that loop in our project. So again, I make a new slot, make it looped, edit it, press on sample, select my sample, and I'm done. Now we listen to it. Okay, it has the correct timing, but it sounds terrible. No problem, we go back to the sample and slot and um, just play around with the pitch. Now it's better. Now um, it's a bit too loud, so we put the volume a bit down of that one in the mixer. And that fits already. Um, next is we want to integrate another loop and um, that one is um, a synthesizer loop. So um, again we go to the sample editor, import. This is a 140 BPM loop. It's written in the name of the file, but um, I'll show you what to do when you don't know the BPM. In that case, um, you can enable the click and make it looped. And in this case, select four bars um, and just let it play. And you hear the, the click. Is totally different here, so we adopt that. Now it's perfect, and um, for this sample, I make that the full length of the sample so that the echo effect um, will pass through to the next loop. And edit the name again, give it a category, and save it. Okay, next loop is um, a little um, percussion drum sequence um, and we import that in mono with 22K um, and again um, edit BPM. Again, this is very important for loops to have the right BPM assigned. And um, that's all for that one. It's just a one bar loop. Um, and um, we just save it. Okay, now integrate these two loops in our project again um, on two different slots. And um, this is really simple. Just um, go to the slot, search, click sample, and then um, put your looped sample in. And when this is done, you can test it. And you 
here the synthesizer is not playing the right notes, so we make it a bit more quiet and then we go live into the slot while playing and we'll adapt the pitch a bit and uh, we will hear that effect uh, after the loop is over and plays again. So we try it with minus five semitones. And that sounds okay. Now we managed to have a 140 BPM loop into a 102 part with the right um, chords in it and now I mix a bit, uh, put the drums volume a bit up and that already sounds quite good for the first demo. So that's it for this tutorial. However, if there is another getting started tutorial where we'll make this project um, very pretty and have the slots a bit overloaded with effects and show you some more tips and tricks how to back up and export your project to give it to your friends. So um, have fun with the next one and see you.